All right guys, it's a little chillier this morning. We're gonna take Noah and Liam to their doctor appointment. Are you excited, nervous? Don't care? Tessie, you don't wanna wear a mask. We, we have to. Come on. <laughs> Why? Noah. It's not fair. Okay, you're doing fine. It's hard to breathe wearing those. Just, just wear it for a little bit, okay? Don't get frustrated because mommy's gonna. I don't I'm like sorry. wearing masks because it's hard to breathe for them. A few moments later. There we go. Are you saying hi? Okay. Come on. Come on, chatterbox. So Noah is not liking how the mask feels on him, so he's not gonna wear a mask. That's just one of the things with autism. Sometimes it's just hard. Sometimes we have to pick our battles and that's not a battle I'm having today. Noah's been in the house for basically a month other than hiking, so I'm not worried about him having the virus. But at the same time, I wanted to be a little bit safer. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit So we're done. We got all the referrals for therapy for Noah. All the referrals for therapy for Liam. Yeah, gonna get me a treat. Noah was really good, so Noah's getting rewarded with a treat. But we also got the referral for genetics to Liam because they need to follow up on something. And then also the urologist because he has the left kidney issue. If you've been around for a while, you remember that. Every year we have to go and make sure the fluid in his left kidney is not increasing. I'm sure it's fine, but it's been a year. So I need to go take him to the urologist. Something weird though. She was checking Noah and apparently... Noah has scoliosis, which is weird. So she's sending us for an x-ray. We'll probably do that next week just to see how bad it is. If it's more than 10 degrees, she'll just follow up in six months. If it's 20 degrees or more, then I don't know. She says something about a back brace, but I, I don't think it's that. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of like... How did that, that get missed? But if you remember when I went to go have my spinal tap, when I went to go have my C-section with Penelope, the anesthesiologist said something about me having scoliosis as well, but Noah did well. We're gonna go now, it's Friday. Woo woo! How did you like the doctor? A pretty nice. I hear the sound of empty streets. <laughs> Look at that red ear. Started feeling nauseous earlier. I'm pretty sure I have a stomach bug, so blah. But it's fine, it's Friday. So hopefully I feel better by Mother's Day. This week, guys, this has been a week. I did some light researching into scoliosis, and apparently it's common to happen in the growth spurt before their like puberty growth spurt. So maybe it was recently, and that's why his previous doctors didn't catch it. I don't know. We're just hoping it's mild. I'm I'm thinking since it hasn't shown up before now that it it probably is mild, or that's what I'm hoping because I Honestly, I don't know how I would even get him to wear a back brace. I didn't want to like talk about it with him in the car because I didn't want to put things in his head. <laughs> but I don't know how I would get him to wear a back brace. He wouldn't even wear the mask. There are just some things that we just have to fight the battle on and him wearing that mask just wasn't just because I know he's been in the house and all of that. The whole mask thing, like that was, that was really hard. Like he was literally about to have a meltdown in the middle of the parking lot because he didn't want to wear the mask and I don't know what to do. And it wasn't like we were going to the store or something leisure or something like that. It's it's like his doctor's appointment. So it was something that he needed to go to. So I guess until this pandemic's over, Noah's just staying inside unless we're like out in nature or something because he doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand the thought of, well, I'm not sick. Why am I wearing this mask? And that's kind of how he's thinking. And I understand that. I think I think some adults are having that issue too. Like, why do I have to wear this mask if I'm not sick kind of thing? So he doesn't understand the whole, if you're at the beginning of the virus or if you're asymptomatic and trying to explain that to him is really hard for him to fully understand. The next day. Hey guys, so it's the next day. 
I feel much better, thank goodness. Today is Saturday, which is kind of our cleaning day, putting things together. So that's kind of what we are going to do. Still just trying to piece together our house. We finally, finally did it and ordered our coffee table. Lonnie and I are just the type that we have to fall in love with something in order to order it for our house. It, that's just how we are. We wanted to make sure that we absolutely love the coffee table. It is the weekend, yay! It's just nice to recuperate after a bunch of therapies, appointments. This was a really, really, really hard week and I'm glad it's over. So on my last video, I talked about May being a hard month for Noah and I really didn't talk about that. Um, and a lot of you guys have asked like, why is May a hard month for Noah? I don't know why it just always has been since he was in school. I think it's because it's like a transition month. Like that's that's my thinking is that that's when like school ends, summer begins, and so it's transition. September was always a hard month for him. December, there's just certain months that things were just more tricky with Noah and May is definitely one of those, so. Hi, princess. Hi. This isn't where I wanted it, guys, but he, he did it. I like it. And Starting over. I'm gonna find a lower. Hi, second princess. Hello. Yeah? <laughs> hey, Liam, say bye. <laughs> bye bye. So we moved the rug that was under here to here because we're trying to kind of brighten up this area a little bit because it's it was it was it's was looking a little dark and dank. I'm also gonna have to find some wall work to kind of brighten up this area. We'll get some curtains. I don't know if any of you mamas out there are as sucky in interior decorating as I am, but it's rough. Like, I always assume that as you got older, that's something you innately knew how to do. It's real bad, but I'm trying to do my best. So if any of you guys have any suggestions what kind of curtains should go right there, let me know. Liam, that's supposed to be for your sister. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Penelope, did you find some more pretzels? What are you doing? Are you feeling okay? It's empty.
guys, this is the best ice cream ever. If you've never had Bluebell two-step ice cream, you're missing out on life. You should go get you some right now. I'm trying to like pull myself together and I'm trying to be like, oh, everything's fine, everything's fine, but I'm having a rough time. Life is not always easy. That is the reality. I want my house unpacked, I want my house cleaned, I want my house decorated. I want all of the therapies lined up where I don't have to do any more paperwork or any more phone calls. I want everything that we found out this week to not be and I just want it to be all okay and it's not. And so that's upsetting. I'm upset. So I'm gonna have some ice cream and not feel like my life is imploding around me. My room is clean. So that's exciting. We're moving around a bunch of things in there, so it's not how it's gonna stay. But we're just trying to get things done. I'm trying to get things cleaned up and my ice cream, my ice cream won't, it's fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. So if you're having a rough week, a rough day, and you're like, man, I feel like I'm the only mom out here, it feels like my life is a complete mess right now. That is me. I'm thankful that we're here in Colorado and not Florida because I'd probably be having a real mental breakdown in Florida right now. Hopefully everything just kind of lines up. I'll be calling this week to see if referrals have been gotten and kind of start that process. So we're just going to kind of go with it. Um, I'm probably not going to have the Mother's Day I thought I was going to have, but it's fine. I'm going to put this ice cream in the microwave. A few moments later. <sighs> it's a little bit better. I know therapies are going to be starting soon, so I'm trying to get everything in the house kind of situated. And that's not to say like the house has to be decorated before therapy start, but I do need to be unpacked. Maybe my kids and husband will give me an unpacked clean house for Mother's Day. I don't know. We'll have to see. I might wake up tomorrow morning and be like, let's go to the Rocky Mountains. I doubt it, but I could be like that. But it's fine. Ice cream's so good. May has sucked so far. There's that. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.